Namaste and hello. This is your Sanskrit instructor welcoming you back into lesson number 228. In this lesson, we will learn about the declension of the interrogative pronoun, which is Kim. And Kim in Sanskrit, Kim is a Sanskrit word for the word which or what. And in English, the words which and what are examples of interrogative pronouns. There are three different types of declension for the word kim, and those declensions are masculine declension, a feminine declension, and a neuter declension, the three different genders. And we will start going over the declension for the masculine. So let us get started. For a nominative, singular, dual, and plural, we have kaha kawan ke. For accusative, singular, dual, and plural, we have kam kawan kan. For instrumental, singular, dual, and plural, we have ke nakab hyaman kaiha. For dative, singular, dual, and plural, we have kasmai kab hyaman ke pyaha. For ablative, singular, dual, and plural, we have kasmat kab hyaman ke pyaha. For genitive, singular, dual, and plural, we have kasya, kayohu, and kesham. For locative, singular, dual, and plural, we have kasmin, kayohu, and keshu. And now for the feminine. For nominative, singular, dual, and plural, we have ka, ke, and kaha. For accusative, singular, dual, and plural, we have kam, ke, and kaha. For instrumental, singular, dual, and plural, we have kaya ka pyam and ka pihi. For dative, singular, dual, and plural, we have kasyai ka pyam and ka pyaha. For ablative, singular, dual, and plural, we have kasyaha ka pyam and ka pyaha. For genitive, singular, dual, and plural, we have kasiaha, kayohu, and kasam. And then for locative, singular, dual, and plural, we have kasiam, kayohu, and kasu. Notice that there is not a vocative case here. And then finally for the neuter, so the neuter, for the neuter, um, nominative, singular, dual, and plural, we have kim, ke, and kani. Then for accusative, we also have singular, dual, and plural respectively, kim, ke, and kani. And then the rest of the declension is exactly like the masculine from instrumental, singular, dual, and plural, going all the way down to locative, singular, dual, and plural, because there is not a vocative declension that exists for this word in Sanskrit. So with that, this is the declension of the interrogative pronoun kim which means which or what and this is your sanskrit instructor signing off with a namaste